this is the stretch bench I made. Nothing fancy to it, but some of you did ask if I would show uh, the stretching routine that I use. Of course, first I would start out just by uh, going down, touching my toes. I do that for about 45 seconds. I'll show you that. From there, I go to my ankle stretches. And I really try to get this stretched well for my mantis hook foot techniques. The other foot, same thing. I really try to get a good stretch here on the back of the legs. From there, I go to stretching the back of the upper legs. And I do that by throwing my foot in here and moving forward and pulling to stretch all of this. It's important to stretch all sides of the leg. So I'll do this for 30 seconds. Then I take my foot over and stretch this way. And this is to stretch the IT band that runs along the outside of the leg. And again, for 30 seconds. After that, I throw my heel up here. And I bend over so that I can put, put my elbow on my knee to stretch the lower back and again to stretch here. Now after I've stretched this at least 30 seconds, I will turn my foot over to stretch here. And this stretches the inside the groin muscles and inner upper thigh muscles. And again, at least 30 seconds here. Now after I've done this for 30 seconds, I'll bring the foot down, turn, and I'll show you all with this leg, and I'll put my toes up here. Reach back, stand as straight as possible, and stretch the front of my legs this time. Mantis is not like Taekwondo, uh, or like the Northern Shaolin, uh, specifically uh, Bei Shaolin uh, style, where you have to have that incredible flexibility. In Mantis, most of the kicks are done very low. Knees, shin, groin, bladder usually at the highest. It's not necessary to have that incredible flexibility that I see some people have and I'm glad because I'm in my 60s and if I needed to have that, especially with the disabilities that I train with, I probably wouldn't be able to train Mantis anymore. 